Hey, it's Clay Trader, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol MGTI. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually just today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like you this time frame, I think that's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I've done this analysis several times in the past, including yesterday. So that's where these green line annotations are coming from. And after today's price movement, once again, some updates here need to be made. First thing I'm gonna do is just house cleaning. I'm gonna go ahead and delete these lines out. Sure, they still pertain to the chart, they're just not relevant. And from a presentation standpoint, I don't wanna risk causing confusion uh, because there's clutter and lines all over the place. So just trying to uh, you know make this as eye friendly as possible from the annotation perspective. One of the newest areas of support and what I would call the ideal level, I mean, if you were to ask Clay, what would make this chart look the best going forward? The price can somehow manage to stay up above 370, and that would be a huge sign of power. But don't get me wrong, if the price does fall below it, by no means am I saying the entire chart's ruined or anything like that. But like I said, yeah, if the price can stay up above it, that would be a huge sign of strength. Next level of support after that, would be down here at that gap close location, which sits at $3.40. So 370, 342 of the near term levels of support. But as I've talked about in the past and will continue to talk about, assuming you care about more so the big picture of it all, then that is where the purple line comes into play, the 50 period simple moving average. As the name implies, as time goes by, that purple line is going to move itself higher and higher. So from a grand scope of things viewpoint, as long as the price stays above that purple line, as the price itself moves higher, then the price is in you know full favor with the bulls. You know the bulls are in full health, full control. However, you can best visualize that. No questions asked. What about areas of resistance? As far as where the sellers are at, currently they um, have made themselves pretty well known right up there at uh, four dollars and fifteen cents. But really, at the end of the day, breaking levels of resistance, in, in my opinion at least, is should not be the main focal point. Main focal point should just be to focus on repeating history. What type of history? Well, this history right here, building those higher bases, because as long as higher bases continue to be built, then as uh, you longer term holders have witnessed, the chart continues to take care of itself. So focus on building higher stair steps and then just sit back and enjoy and let the chart do its thing. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.